The President of the Supreme Court, Ms. Medenica, the uh, General Director of ICB, Mr. Donfrey, High uh, Representatives, Mayor of Cetinje, dear participants of the symposium, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to express uh, respect to the participants of this international symposium dedicated to the always uh, current topic, the role of international to uh, law in improving human rights. The organization of such an important conference with the ambition to discuss inter uh, and through interdisciplinary approach uh, human rights is a contribution to one of the most important issues of establishing the legal state and the rule of law in the international community and in the national legislation. Instruments of international law that protect uh, human rights and fundamental freedoms are binding for all states as an optimal way that through the uh, uh, legislation uh, we improve uh, human rights and fundamental freedoms. Using different international institutions of democracy, legal order, diplomacy, and uh, exchange of ideas. Exchange of ideas and proposals uh, um, uh, is something that this uh, symposium is dedicated to since Magna Cartum from 2215 uh, uh, that can be considered the first constitutional act not only in England but globally all the documents adopted in the second half uh, of the 20th century, such as the International Covenant on Political Rights and the International uh, uh, Covenant on Economic, Cultural and uh, Social Rights from 1976. There has been a long history in the efforts to uh, build the humanistic concept of human rights into the international legal order and becomes the ground for the national legislations. Now we're speaking about three generations of human rights, from civil and political, cultural, economic, and uh, the uh, right of solidarity, which is based on the institutions and instruments of international law. Ladies and gentlemen, Montenegro is continuing with improvement of human rights and pays special attention to the equal status of all its citizens and fight against all forms of discrimination. In such a way, we improve the value of our society, but also uh, meet the high standards of international community in the, procession, in the process of accession to the EU and Euro-Atlantic family of states. Montenegro supports global goals of the United Nations, policy of peace and dialogue as a way of overcoming political and economic problems that we face. Uh, promoting democracy and human rights is a legal but also moral imperative of the modern world. Therefore, democratization and structural reforms of the Montenegrin society, just like uh, those of all the states of the European Union, are strategically important for the lasting stability of the region and security of the inter European continent. Montenegro is fully committed to partnership with European and Euro-Atlantic institutions, working on establishing the culture of human rights and protection of fundamental freedoms. As a state with rich history and diversity of cultures that has for centuries preserved its uh, original strength, uh, along with multinational harmony, Montenegro is committed to fully protect human rights and fundamental freedoms. Therefore, we undertake important uh, steps in protecting minorities, establishing a wide institutional and normative framework for the protection of minority national groups. We have a council for minority uh, rights. We have the Ministry for Human Minority Rights and minorities participate in the political and public life of Montenegro. The its constitution defines special protection for, of minorities, starting from the values of multi-ethnicity and multiculturalism, but dealing with the issue of minorities as the, a part of the right of all citizens. Montenegro, as a civil state, uh, is determined to protect uh, uh, rights of all uh, people uh, and improves uh, protection of human rights through the changes in criminal legislation, law on anti-discrimination, law on the protection of human rights and freedoms, and the overall legislation referring to protection of human rights and freedoms. This normative process must be active and timely 
and must be consistently implemented in practice because of the capital values uh, referring to the protection of human rights and freedoms. Ladies and gentlemen, in dealing with human rights and freedoms, we must start from the fact that these are basic values of democracy. In modern political understanding of human rights, these are the basis of democratic society and the state and legal order are instruments that guarantee their uh, respect and implementation. The idea of human rights starts from the understanding of uh, inborn human dignity. So the basic values of uh, people are respected and we create conditions for the functioning of legal state and establishing the rule of law. After difficult uh, experiences from the World War I and II, the General Assembly of the United Nations adopted the Universal Declaration 1948, which, although it was not legally binding, uh, strongly appeals the members to recognize human, civil, economic and social rights. In the preamble of the Universal Declaration, it is defined that the recognition of human dignity and equal and inalienable rights is the basis of freedom and justice and then eventually uh, peace in the world. Uh, moral dignity of human dignity and respect of human rights are taken as a basis uh, for developing uh, just fair uh, social relations in planetary dimensions and ensure lasting peace through a mutual understanding and respect. That is why the validity and uh, the content of human rights is discussed by philosophy, uh, uh, legal profession. It is an ethnic and political and legal issue which uh, contains the key for understanding and resolving all the complex social issues in the crisis of modern civilization. Universality that, uh, define, that is defined by the international law is binding for all states and can be uh, taken as a joint heritage of humanity. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, the dream of the big fight for uh, human rights, Martin Luther King on equality of all people has not uh, ceased because we have all been created equal. Uh, his uh, and fight of others uh, makes us create world community on universal ethnic and legal principles. Responsibility in front of this big task and commitment to this uh, noble goal makes uh, us very responsible in front of the future generations. I wish you successful work and I hope you will give full contribution to the improvement of uh, the idea of human rights and their full implementation within the international community. Thank you.